Hey Brian, it's nice to meet you. My name's Tyson, I'm a journalist. Um, I was wondering if, can I have like a little interview with you? Ask you a couple questions? Yeah, yeah, so do you mind, um, tell everybody about yourself. You helped write the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Please kind of tell everybody your story, first of all. Yeah, well, in 1981, we began negotiating to see if we could get a constitution brought home from England and also have a Charter of Rights and Freedoms attached to it. And we negotiated for three days in November 1981, and there was, no, there was an impasse. And I presented a proposal, which later became the Patriation Agreement, which later became the Constitution Act in which there was the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. So yes, I, and I'm the only living First Minister now mm -hmm. who's around who, who will help create that document. There were more besides me, but they all passed away. Yeah. So this is very famous, you know, 40 years ago now, this, this year is the 40th anniversary of that yeah. charter. And so that's why we're here today, well, number one. And we're here today, of course, also because we want to ensure that the Charter is respected, which right now yeah. is not by the government of Canada. So you feel like the Charter is being trampled by the government no right now? No yeah. question. Our, our, our freedom of expression, our freedom of assembly, mm -hmm. our freedom of association, our freedom of travel. I can't travel across my own country, nor can many other Canadians who don't have the same medi medical history as others. Yeah. This, is, this is a discrimination. Remember, the Charter also says, besides freedom of travel, freedom of expression, it also says that equal before the law. Every Canadian is supposed to be equal before the law. Right now, I'm not equal to other Canadians before the law. So the violation is happening, and we must restore that Charter back to where it always was. Yeah. So do you feel like Canada, uh, in this day and age, is a free country? No, it is not. And it is, it is gradually declining into being not a democracy. If I can't travel in my own country, is that a democracy? How can that be a democracy? If, if the public school won't allow me to speak to the students who've asked me to speak, if my mayor won't allow me to speak before his council, if my MLA won't set up a time for me to meet with his caucus, is that a democracy? Of course it's not. Well, thank you for taking the time, Brian. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Everybody, that's Brian Peckford. That's going to be a clip.